Hey all nudes here, welcome back to Nudes Airborne RC. Today is part three of our Asan series and we're gonna be going over the Asan AG68. Now, if you've seen the videos and been keeping up with the channel, we've went over the AG61, which basically gives you a no steering gyro, the AG63, which takes you with a no steering gyro and also gives you a brake controller. Today, we have the AG68. Now with the AG68, it's just like the AG63, you get your nose gyro and your brake controller, but you also get a retract controller. So it's an all-in-one. So what do you say? Let's dive in. Welcome back everybody. So we got the bird's eye view going on. We have our AG68 right here in the package. So let's open her up. That's everything in the bag separate everything out so as you can see the contents in the bag we have our actual AG68 brake gyro with retract controller our manual comes with two sets of Y's and our extension leads so we'll go ahead and move these off to the side and we'll talk about these right here We have our instruction manual here, and you also have a little heads up right here on the power supply. So with the Asan AG68, the actual brains of it is powered by your rudder channel input. So whatever the rudder channel input is coming in from the receiver, that's what's going to power the brains. Your external power supply that comes in on this red lead, this right here is what's going to drive your retracts and your brakes. In the manual, you have a color-coded diagram of what goes in where. Pretty self-explanatory. And right here, just like all the other ones, this is going to be the meat and the potatoes, the automatic direction drive, if you have to go ahead and change the gyro direction on your front steering. Now also right here, you have the adjustment landing gear direction. This is basically on if you have one gear going down like your nose gear and your main gear is going up. So we'll address that in a little bit. All right, now let's go over the Asan AG68 itself. As you can see right here, this is your external power supply. This is what's gonna drive your brakes and your gear. Most likely it's gonna be a 2S battery. Right over here you have your brake channels and right here you have your three landing gear channels. And on this side right here, we have our gear in, our brake in, our rudder in, and our steering servo out. Now, with the Ys right here, this is basically is if you have a separate uh, dork controller, you would basically just Y it out one, uh, one side into here and the other side into there. That's what the Ys are for. You get your extension leads, go ahead and do your extensions to receiver. Now, on the landing gear side right here, you have three ports right there, and they're two pins each. Be sure that when you're plugging these in, that you have them plugged into both ports. It's very easy to have them offset to a side, and if you do that, you have a good chance of burning out your uh, gear actuator. So make sure that on these three, when you have them plugged in, you have the two pins, the two pins, and two pins, okay? One other thing to take note of the Asan AG68 on the retract controller side is let's say you're raising and lowering your gear and you hear it really trying to force beyond its point. Well, that means we got to go ahead and set the overcurrent. Every landing gear is different, so it might work for you out of the box. So if it doesn't, this is what you got to do. I'm going to go ahead and inlay it right up here. It's called the landing gear adaption. So if that happens to you, immediately power off the plane. And to start, we're going to go ahead and power on the plane. And within one minute of power on the plane, we're going to cycle our gear switch three times total of six. So, you know, depending on, on where you start, it would be gear up, gear down, gear up, gear down, gear up, gear down. You're going to notice the red and blue lights starting to flash. Now, when that happens, the Asan is going to go ahead and move the gear to what your switch is at. You're going to move it. If it's on down, it's going to move it down. That's fine. You're going to move the gear to the up switch. The gear is going to go up. 
And once the gear is all the way retracted in the up position for one second, you're going to flip that switch again. What that's going to do is that's going to tell the Asan that's the current setting that I want. That way you won't burn out your gear. Too easy, right? Now let's go ahead and get this bad boy installed into the plane so we can get this thing operational. All right, everybody, we're back. We have the AG68 gyro installed per the manual as I'm showing right up here. A few things I like to go over before we start powering on the model. The way I like to go ahead and do everything on this for safety reasons, just so I don't damage uh, any of the parts, is one, I like to deal with the retracts first, then the brakes, and then the steering. That way, if we're overloading the um, landing gear, we're not going to damage it because we're going to uh, go ahead and tackle that first. So when we power on the plane, we're going to lower our gear and we're going to observe the landing gear and make sure that it's not over torquing. Over torquing means when the gear is fully extended, when it starts making that sound like it's really working, we only want that sound to be one second. So the moment it gets fully extended, 1001, the gear motor should stop turning. Now, the AG68, the default overcurrent, it's pretty much for a model this size or JP uh, hobby gear about the ER120 size. That's pretty much what it's set for. Now, if you're using it in a model that's smaller, that's using smaller JP gear, the overcurrent, it's going to be a little bit too much and you'll go ahead and have to do the quick adaption that we discussed earlier. Uh, more importantly, if you've got a uh, model that's larger, that has bigger gear, that overcurrent's not going to be enough and the gear's going to technically stall. It's not going to go full forward. So again, you'll have to do the uh, gear adaption as we discussed earlier in the video. So let's go ahead and open this up. We got our battery inside of it already. We got our transmitter right here. We have a transmitter already programmed for our steering, our brakes, and our gear. So for our first part, we're going to do the gear. We're going to uh, power on the plane, we're going to lower our gear, and we're going to uh, observe it. I believe I have the same channel, I might have to reverse it. So let's give her some juice. Alright. Lift those flaps up. And we're going to, everything's powered on, we're going to go ahead and drop our gear. I did Y to the gear controller, just to let you all know. Just like the manual uh, states, that way I keep the full function of the airplane. Listen to it, 1001, and shut off. Now I know I'm not over torquing the motors. Now if you observe the gear more than one second, just really grinding, immediately power off the plane and start the landing gear adaption, uh, and that'll solve that issue. Now if any time you have your gear, let's say you run into the scenario where your main gear is going down, but your front gear is going up, that's a simple fix. Find your nose gear lead on the AG68, pull it out and simply flip it over. We're just reversing polarity. Plug it in, problem solved. Now that we know that that's good, let's move on to the brakes. We have our brakes and they are working. One thing on setting up the brakes that we'll go ahead and go over right now. What you wanna do is you wanna have your plane all loaded up if it's a turbine full of fuel if it's batteries just get her like she's ready to fly we'll do that for simulation purposes this is so you don't develop flat uh, spots on your tires so when you have your brakes on the channel you usually have it at negative 100 and 100 with the ag68 just like the ag63 you can adjust the brake pressure so to do so you will put your model flat on the ground and you will pick up the nose and you will just drag her across the ground. You will notice that the brakes are so tense that they're dragging the tires and that's what's gonna give you a flat spot. So what you wanna do is you wanna open up the channel on your travel or your endpoints, whatever you wanna call it. You wanna pick up your plane and you wanna slowly drag it while decreasing your uh, overall travel. You'll notice the brakes will eventually uh, open up free. What you're trying to get is you want the brakes to be grabbing but breaking free, not sliding on the ground. 
uh, the tires on the ground. That's going to help the longevity of your tires and that is a great starting point for your brake pressure. Now that we have the brakes done out of the way, let's move on to the nose gear. Nose gear is down and we have no control over the nose gear. And that's good because that's going to go ahead and bring me up to my next point. All right. Now let's just go ahead and run a few scenarios. As you can see, we have no nose steering direction in the front steering. Now I'll tell you why that is. The Asan AG68, when the gear is in the retracted position, it tells the gyro not to turn the wheel and you'd have no directional steering over the wheel. When the gear is in a down position, you have full control over the steering and the gyro is engaged. Right now, since we don't have any steering uh, capability of the front, I know right now that the gyro thinks with the gear down, it's in the up position. Now to fix that, we have to go ahead and do the automatic adaption right here posted right there. Now, in another scenario, let's just go ahead and say that um, you have the everything's working where you're tracking. But when you turn the plane, it's correcting the wrong direction. Again, you're going to do the same procedure, the automatic direction adaption. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and discuss it before we do it. But let's get the plane into the position that we want it to. All right. Now, to start the automatic direction adaption, the starting point is with the gear up and the plane off. Simply, we're going to go ahead and go over the procedure, then we're going to perform it. You're going to power on the plane and within one minute, you're going to drop the gear. Right after the gears dropped, you're going to use your steering, basically your rudder channel, and you're going to do a series of left and rights times five and on the last hold left. So for example, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, hold left. As you hold left, you'll notice the lights on your Son AG68 start to blink. Once they start to blink, you'll let go of the steering, uh, the holding left on the rudder. And what's going to end up happening is it's going to learn what left is and what gear down is. Once the lights are all done blinking, you'll notice the surfaces twitch and you're going to be all good to go. You're going to have full steering and the gyro is going to be going the right direction. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're going to simply power on the plane within one minute. We're going to go ahead and drop down our gear and we're going to start our series. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left. The lights are blinking. We're going to let go. Lights are off. And as you see now, the front wheel, it's turning. And you also notice that the gyro is compensating the correct direction now. All right, y'all, that's how you hook up the Asan AG68 brake gyro available at Banana Hobby. The link's down in the description. Noons out.